Hello everybody, it's Nick here and I want to cut to the chase here and say rest in peace Justin Carmichael or Carmichael aka Jew Wario. Um, to be honest, I never even heard of this guy until one of my friends posted about his death on Facebook. So apparently, well I probably don't need to tell anybody, they probably already know, but in case you don't know, apparently uh, according to his wife on Facebook, he locked himself in the bathroom and shot himself so that's and that's the worst kind of death suicide because you know it, because you know if you think about it, it's like well it didn't have to happen it's not like he had cancer or AIDS or any kind of virus like that so really tragic death and I checked the guys videos out and I'll admit I wasn't a big fan but I mean we're both in the import game so that's cool but again, it's just not my thing, or you know, he just, his style isn't my kind of thing. Maybe if I watch another video of his, then maybe I'll like him more, I don't know. But anyways, rest in peace, man, you know, hopefully Jesus saved you a good spot in heaven, and, uh, you know, I hope to see you there in the afterlife. So, you know, rock on, man. I probably shouldn't do that since I'm Christian, but, uh, no. Anyways, I picked up a Famicom game this weekend. Uh, and that game is Ninja Cop Saizo, and you would know this in the USA as Wrath of the Black Manta. Now, what I didn't know is that this game was drastically different from the from Wrath of the Black Manta. In fact, it's almost a completely different game. I mean, the sounds different. Yeah, it's actually got different music, and um, there's like moves you can learn and stuff, and of course, this one's in Japanese, it's got a different storyline stuff. So, it's, in a way, it's like Circus Caper and Moeru Onisan, except, I'd say Wrath of the Black Manta is more, this has, like, more drastic differences. So, um, I couldn't really get past the first level, but, um, that's my first time actually playing on a, that was my first time actually playing on a real console. And I don't have Black Manta yet, although it's a pretty common game, I think, so, I mean, I'll keep a lookout for it. So, uh, and then, uh, I got a guitar capo for my acoustic, and I like it, except it kind of makes the strings go out of tune, and that's the problem with that guitar anyways, that it's really hard to tune the strings, because, like, let's just use a little, like, a little metaphor here, like, I'm tuning it going, da, you know, kind of like that, instead of, like, if I'm tuning it, it goes, da, you know, so, it, like, it seems to, like, like, snap you know, so to speak, to certain frequencies. So I don't know what's with that. Maybe if I change the strings. I did have trouble playing them before, like the strings were like heavy or whatever, but uh, my, my hands got used to them. And now like whenever I'm done playing guitar, my wrist like around here starts turning. But I mean, it, it doesn't last that long. It's only like a few minutes, so it's all right. And it's good exercise for my hands and uh, yeah. Also, I'm going to be making a huge decision here and I probably don't need your guys' help on this, but uh, I just want to get your input. Uh, well, my sister's going to college, and you know, for automotive, and I'm I thought about doing the same thing, except you know, going to college, except I would be going for audio engineering. So the reason why I'm, I'm thinking about not going is because it's like, well, I don't know if I do good in that class. You know, I keep thinking, well, it's like, well. I mean, I don't know how audio engineering could be boring for me, you know, even at school because, you know, I, I enjoy, I enjoy doing it, but, um, you know, I, I am a lazy person. I'm afraid I'm going to get like kicked out of the class or I'm going to want to drop out or something. So, you know, if I go, I want it to be put to good use. So, uh, I just want to, you know, what do you guys think? Think I should go? Now, I'm not going to say what college I'm going to because, you know, that's, personal stuff and you know maybe maybe later I'll talk I'll say which one it is but um for now I'm just gonna stay under the radar here but yeah audio engineering because you know I don't even know how to work mixing boards I I I just really know how to like you like compose music and use certain music programs and stuff and that's about it I you know I don't really know much else and even that I haven't even composed a song yet this year I've been playing music but uh and one thing I realized is that I'm actually playing guitar more than I'm playing my keyboards. And another thing is I'm playing more real music on the guitar than keyboards. You know, like, usually on the keyboards I play my MIDI files or I play, like, some video game music. 
but uh, on the guitar I actually play some real stuff. And again, I am going to post videos of myself playing some stuff. Um, I don't have the best singing voice, so, you know, just please don't throw tomatoes at me. <laughs> so, and again, I, I hope you guys enjoy those videos, and uh, maybe I'll review Ninja Cup if, you know, I can find out how to beat it. Because I, I really only like reviewing games that I can beat. And, I mean, I know I've reviewed some in the past, like Ghosts and Goblins and stuff, where I wasn't able to beat them. But that's because it's like, well, I want to review them, but I know at the same time they're pretty much impossible for me to beat. So, I'm going to do it. It's, and some people may, might be like, well, ABGN was able to do it. Yeah, well, in the USA version you get Infinite Continues. So, and even then, I think he used Game Genie or something. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I think, I personally think, I personally do not believe anyone could actually beat that game. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's just what I think. It's not what I know. So, <sighs> But anyways, that's all I want to talk about. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, rest in peace, Chewario. Oh, by the way, if you see these at, at your local Asian food mart, or any store, but as far as I know, only Asian food marts have them, get these. These are fucking tasty. And not just the chocolate ones, I'm talking about these green tea flavor ones. They tasted kind of like Fruit Loops to me, but these are freaking good. Try them out. So, peace out.